All right, now we're doing 7Q Descending Order. This is by Tasty O's, and 89% of the people like it. Our task is to make a function that can take any non-negative integer as an argument and return it with its digits in descending order. Essentially, rearrange the digits to create the highest possible number. All right, so what we're going to do is change this number into this number by sorting it in descending order. Uh, to do that, we're going to have to turn this into a string, split it up, uh, sort it, and then uh, turn it back into a number. All right. So for that, uh, we're going to start off by declaring some variables. We're going to say let uh, result equal string, and I'll show you why when we're when we're down there. Uh, now we're going to say let array equal uh, an empty array. So we're going to need that, and then we're also going to let uh, string equal the string constructor in. If you don't know about the string constructor, it's basically just something to turn anything that you put into it that can be turned into a string into a string, right? And that's what that does. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to iterate through string and push it into this array so that we can sort it, okay? So we're going to say for let i equal zero while i is less than string dot length we're going to say i plus plus I'm going to turn this comma into a semicolon right? and uh, then we're going to say here uh, to put it into the array we're just say array dot push and uh, we'll push what is it string at the current index right so now if we do console dot log array we've got uh, the first thing in the array look zero awesome all right now after this we're going to do another for loop we're going to actually do a for loop on top of a for loop to uh, sort this stuff in descending order I'll show you how we do that so we're going to say four and then let i equal zero while i is less than array dot length minus one because we're going to iterate through uh, but we're only going to stop at this one because we don't need to stop this one by the time we're done this one will be in its correct place all right uh, hopefully that makes sense now we're going to say uh, i plus plus all right and then we're going to do four let j equal uh, I plus one so we're gonna have J always be right one in front of it so it's gonna here's I and then it's gonna compare this one it's gonna compare this one this one this one and all the way up uh, and then when it gets to the second place it'll compare them all and blah 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 right so J is that and while J is less than array dot length because it does need to go to this last one all right we're going to say j plus plus all right now what we're going to do is going to compare uh this one to this one remember it's already in an array by now so we're going to compare this one to this one so we're going to say if uh and now we're going to also okay let me show you in a second so we're going to say array at i is uh less than array at j but these are both strings right now, so we got to make these into numbers uh, for when they're getting compared. So we're going to wrap this up parentheses, and we're going to use the number constructor, which, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. If it can change, be changed into a number, it will be changed into a number. So we're going to wrap that one up in parentheses and put number. Wrap this one up in parentheses, put number in front of it. And now it's comparing these two, but it's not changing the actual ones it's just doing it for the if statement all right uh now if that's the case we're going to do array we're going to say array at i comma array at j now equals array at j comma array at 
I. As you can see, the I went to here and the J went to here. So we switched places, all right? Uh, now we can go down three because we're going to do one more for loop. We're going to uh, do a for loop to turn it back into a string, excuse me, not back into a string, to push uh, the now sorted array, because let me show you, uh, console.log, what is it, array, all right? Test it out. Well, it's still gonna be zero. Let me cut these ones out of here. Uh, let me cut all of these ones out of here. All right, let me get rid of these. Now test it out. All right, now it's in order, you can see right here. This one's not a good one either. Test it out. Now it's in this order. Okay, now you see. Uh, so now that it's in order, uh, we're gonna do one more for loop for let i equals zero while i is less than array dot length. We're gonna say i plus plus and then we're gonna say uh, result plus equals and then we're gonna say array at the current index. And then down here, we're going to return number constructor result, all right? So it turns the string result into the number result. Test it out. There we go. Let's hint it. All right, let's see how long this took. 10 milliseconds. All right, let's see if we can beat it with the concise syntax. So for the concise syntax, we're gonna say const here. We're gonna change this into equals in, and then the rest of it, we're gonna turn it into an arrow. All right. And uh, for this one, what we're going to be using is we're going to use the string and the number constructor as well, but we're also going to use this split method, uh, which, uh, takes a, which takes a pattern and divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for a pattern, putting these substrings into an array, and returning the array. So it does what well, we did at first and makes the string into an array. And then after we turn it into an array, we're going to sort it, which, uh, I mean, it just sorts it. There's some limitations, but we don't have to worry about that. And so we're going to use this syntax, sort A comma B, and then uh, arrow, and then we're going to say B minus A, because that's what makes uh, that's what makes it in descending order, all right? And then we're going to join it back together with join, which is pretty much exactly like split, uh, but it joins it by the uh, spaces in between characters instead of splitting it by them. So let's start off. We're going to say string in. Let me go to the next line because I don't have enough room. String in dot split, and we're going to split it by the spaces in between the characters. If we wanted to, like on this one, uh, if we wanted to split this by the spaces right here and just have words in each one, uh, we do a space, but we do it by the spaces in between the characters, all right? So we're doing that spaces in between the characters dot sort. And like I said, the syntax is A comma B, and then we're going to do B minus A. And if we want to do ascending, we do A minus B, or we just leave it sort, it'll automatically do it. Uh, now that we got that, we're going to say dot join by the spaces in between the characters again. Now we're going to wrap all this up in parentheses and turn it into a number. All right, let's test it out. All right, attempt it. See how long this took. Four milliseconds. Okay, well, six milliseconds. That's a lot. Uh, that's a that's a huge difference. So this one's the big winner. We're gonna submit it. All right, my solutions. Very much like this one. Uh, looks like it's fifty nine of us plus these folks. Best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.